Unit 1 Structures of HTML When we see the HTML describing the structure of the page, we have it at HTML. The opening HTML tag indicates anything between closing slash HTML tag. And then the body tag indicates that anything between closing slash body tag. And then word is between h1 and slash h1 indicates the main heading and the paragraph appears p and slash p tag the closing slash body tag indicates the end of what should appear and the closing slash html tag indicates the end of the html code when we see in the 1.2 attributes tell us more about elements attributes provide additional information about the contents of an element they appear on the opening tag of the element and are made up of two parts, attribute name and attribute value. It's separated by an equals sign. Let us check the example. When we see the example here, P language, which calls to EN United States paragraph in English. So P language, which is known as, name it as attribute name while English United States, which is called to wants to be attribute value. So I think we have checked everything what we have done. The attribute name that indicates what kind of extra information you are supplying about the element's content. So let's check it there. When we see 1.3 body, head and title, body in the first page created, everything inside the element shown inside the main browser and head contains information about the page the main browser window that is highlighted on the opposite page and title elements shown in the top of the web browser. Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how can we create the HTML programming in the first uh, header. We have to display. How can we display like this? For the first time, uh, we have we are given here with the doc type HTML in order to to make a documenting the HTML documents in the website or web page uh, browser. We have an HTML, we have a open tag and close tag with HTML and head. There is a title, a title is the rewritten here title. This is the title of the browser. It can appear on the top of the browser. And let's write heading. We have to say H1, H1 then. No. We have to say H1, this is the body of the page, written like this. And after that, uh, we're going to write here the paragraph. Then, anything that can be bought, become body of the page that should be that should be displayed in the in the main browser so we have done like that so what are we going to do here we have to where we before we understand like that we have to follow each step by step as it is given there then we can be here identify like this when we create like this we display the html result here this is the heading and this is the paragraph we reached the final lesson of unit html pages are text documents HTML uses tags to give the information they surround special meaning. Tags are often referred to as elements. Tags are usually come in pairs. The opening tag denotes starting content. The closing tag denotes the end. Opening tags can carry attributes, which tell us more about the contents of elements. Attributes require a name and a value.